you already know who the heck I am with, you know what, you know you should buy the videos. Good. Now that we got through that introduction, now we're going to go ahead and do it for our next shootout series. We're going to do the strip lights. I just want to see you strip. We're going to have the, my personal favorite, American DJ Mega 24 Pro with an eye bolt the size of Texas. You know, you judge it by the size of the eye bolt, you think this thing weighs like a million pounds. Super lightweight though. And it has, again, our traditional, what do you call traditional old school RGB mixing, meaning you have one red, one blue, one green. They're very bright. Then we have the Mega Bar LED RC. Again, traditional old school mixing where you have multiple RGB LEDs. Of course, these are the 10 millimeter ones. These are one watt, so there's a huge difference. Then you have the Mega Tri 60s, and these are the newer ones that have all built in. It's RGB. And the cool thing about this one is this is glass, so the color is going to be a, a little bit nicer right off the bat, just because it's glass versus the plastic. Now the uh, these two here are can be you know DMX or they can be remote control. This is not remote control. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, compare them out. Oh, and if you have the Mega Tripart profiles and decide to upgrade to this, this shares the same DMX values. So I'm using the same uh, channel that I had that Mega Tripart profile on. Let's go ahead and compare them. First, we're gonna flip them upside down. We're gonna compare two different things. We're gonna compare brightness and overall wash. What what gives the widest wash? This is the Mega Bar RC, uh, perfect because it, you know, you can stand it on its own, you can do remote control, and it has a decent wash. It's a little bit more feathered than it shows on the camera, but the QWH5 is brighter than that. I can tell you that right off the bat. Okay, so if you're looking for a flood fixture, the QWH5 is going to offer a little bit more, but it's a different price point too. Nice color mixing, uh, again, you know, especially considering that they're not all one LEDs. Where it really shows is when you're trying to do a yellow or a gold. It gives you more of a greenish type tint. Okay, but it's still nice rich blues. We're gonna compare that. Let's go back over here. We're gonna compare that against the Mega Tri 60, which has a 25 degree beam. I'm not sure what this one has, but let's see. Here we go. So let's compare these side by side. Ready? We have. Mega Ball RC, bam, right there. Mega Tripar, or Mega, Mega Tri 60. LED RC, Tri 60. Let's compare these side by side. The Mega Bar has a little bit of a wider wash. And now let's go ahead and check the color mixing. Here we go. Look at the yellows. I'm sure you'll notice a huge difference there. If color mixing is crucial to you, a Tri-60 is definitely the winner here. Remember that also the Tri-60 allows color mapping, which means each individual light or LED can be controlled as a pixel. Let's go ahead and look at the blues, which to me are very important. Really, really rich, saturated blues on the Tri-60. The reds, the Tri-60 is the winner here. And of course, with the white, again, Tri-60. Again, this isn't knocking the Mega Bar RC. They all have their different price points, but if you're looking for a brighter fixture, the Mega Tri 60 is the winner. But of course, that comes at a price too. So let's go ahead and uh, take it down. Good job, Mega Bar. And this one, again, the Tri 60 is, was not really designed, I don't think, to be a flood as much as a spot with the color uh, pixel mapping capabilities. And you're going to see that shortly because again we have the Mega Tri 60 here and then daddy's favorite light, the Mega 24. Now the Mega 24 has a really uh, narrow beam as you can tell there, the super wide wash. However, I can tell you that two of these have easily flooded the back end of the gym. You're not going to get a 180 degree coverage with these, of course, but really wide wash. So again, compare Mega 24, Mega Tri 60. But of course, that all comes at a cost too. Remember that, let me turn on the yellow so you can see. The Mega 24, it does color mixing LEDs versus all-in-one LEDs. So the yellows are going to look slightly different. However, these are much better LEDs than the Mega Bar. 
So you'll notice that the yellow here still looks yellow and it doesn't have that greenish tint. Make a 24 on the right, make a try 60 on the left. If you're looking for the brightest color, of course, the Mega Tri-60 is the winner because it is a 25 degree beam with insanely amount or insanely bright LEDs. But if you're looking for the widest wash, especially for school dances, the Mega 24 Pro is the clear winner. Really tough decision because when you do the built-in shows on this, they are really cool. And if you haven't seen them, make sure to check out the review posted on this video. So now that we've seen the difference, the next video is going to show the Mega, or the Mega 24 versus the QWH5 and see which one makes a better floodlight. My name is Arnaldo Offerman with Master School Dances. Thank you so much and God bless.